Welcome to Super User TV. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell me what your role is? Uh, so my name is Chris Price. Uh, I'm a member of the board and I'm working with the adjacent technologies uh, stream to investigate how we better collaborate with other communities. I'm Mike Perez. I work for the OpenStack Foundation, cross-project developer coordinator. So for my work stream, I'm specifically focusing on trying to make OpenStack more simplified. Um, in particular, we have a variety of features that we support inside of OpenStack. They require a, lots of different configuration options. And so I'm trying to reduce that complexity so that people can easily deploy OpenStack without having to know all these configuration options. Um, they all tie into features of some sort. Uh, us as a community, we're starting to uh, focus more on our strengths in uh, a variety of deployments that exist for OpenStack and trying to improve those where it makes sense. Um, and I'm working on the adjacent communities or adjacent technologies work stream. Uh, we focus on working with other communities, making sure that, that from an OpenStack perspective, we're able to both provide to other communities and consume from them a little more. Um, modularizing the OpenStack components. So for instance, the, the cloud native community can consume various services that we have to offer. Uh, there'll be a bunch of keynotes on that if you want to go check it online. Um, but yeah, that's what we're focused on. And so far, what has this team learned? Well, um, to be honest with you, I started a lot of my work uh, fairly recently. Um, just yesterday, we posted about, uh, uh, well, there's a few people working on this. There's Mike. There's this other guy that goes by Perez and another person that goes by codename Thaney. Um, but the three of us, one person, me, have been working on this initiative. Uh, and we have posted 18 patches in just one day. So, but I would love to have more help on this initiative. What we have learned so far is we have, we have options that are deprecated all the way from Folsom, still existing in code. But a lot of them are gone as of today. That's fantastic. Um, what are some of the next steps we can expect coming out of the team of Mike Perez and Thingy? Well, I expect uh, in a release that's coming to you uh, that a lot of these configuration options are going to be gone. Uh, I fully expect uh, the community to be focusing. Uh, it's, we currently right now have a lot of different initiatives. Some of it ties into these adjacent technologies where we're kind of competing with other people that we're actually working with where it kind of makes more sense to let those communities develop and be good at what they're at and allow us to focus on what we're good at with infrastructure. Fantastic. And if I want to learn more about this strategic initiative, where can I go? What should I read? Well, you can contact me, Mike Perez. I'm Thaney on IRC, Thaney on Twitter, and I'm also me at Thaney. That's T-H-I-N-G-E-E -E, or Mike at OpenStack.org if you want to help out. Um, but you're pretty much going to see a lot of the work happening, like I said, in the next release. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, get involved in cross-project initiatives. You can ask around on IRC. They'll point you to me eventually, and I would love your help. OK, so what have we learned so far? We've learned, um, we've learned that there's a lot of good um, capability and feature in, in the OpenStack community that we can offer to other communities. Uh, we've learned that we have some work to do to make it relevant to those communities. Uh, so there's, there's investment and there's activity around trying to bring those, those technologies forwards and make them more consumable. Um, we've also learned that there are a number of communities that, that we've already engaged with very well uh, and, and we're trying to figure out how to better build relationships with those and bring them on board. Um, and we've also, I guess, taken these lessons from experience over the last six to 12 months in that we have a number of initiatives at this summit itself which start to address this sort of stuff. Um, moving forwards, better integration, better cross-community collaboration. Um, if you're in an adjacent community and you need something from OpenStack, come, talk, uh, engage with the community, engage, engage with the devs, and we'll see if we can and make it work across the boundaries. And also, the, we have uh, the open source days as yep. well. You want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. so we have the open source days, um, which is essentially adjacent communities coming to the OpenStack Foundation, having the ability to run their own day and have their own agenda and, and communicate and, and you know, share with the OpenStack community so that they uh, can essentially establish what it is that they're trying to achieve. The OpenStack community can understand it more. And when we're trying to build features and, and, and trying to consume from each other, it's a lot easier to understand why we're doing the things that we're doing. Yeah. I think Another thing to add on to, as pointed out in the keynote recently, is uh, it's not just about those communities uh, coming in and engaging in our, in our summit, but it's also you know, 
also important for us to be engaging in their conferences as well, so, which we are doing. Which we are doing. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time today on Super User TV, and have a great rest of your summit.